Welcome back to Must Play Reviews. So for years now, I have been extremely annoyed at brightness of video games. They never get it right. It seems like nine times out of 10, every single game is going to be washed out. And most of the time, you can't rely on the game's own brightness pattern to adjust it. So I've put together a few images and some other tips that will hopefully help you get the best and most accurate image for your TV or monitor. And I'm going to show you why they keep getting this wrong. First thing, this really wasn't an issue before HDMI. With CRT, we had a fixed standard, 16 for black, 235 for white. And if you were lucky, you had a really good TV, you had the option for super white, which allowed you to have more highlight detail above 235. But when modern consoles went to the digital signal of 0 to 255, it ended up being a big problem for the PS3 and 360. The standard flew out the window, and the so-called fix was just to add a toggle for full RGB or limited. This is exactly why every game looks so different now. Take Half-Life 2 for example. I went back and checked its values on PC. And the game wants you to have a black level of 8. That fits neither standard. It's not 0 for PC and it's not 16 for a TV. It is literally in no man's land. Instead of a consistent standard, we get a wild west where every developer decides where black is. And it is time that they fixed it even though they probably won't. This is how the settings should work. If you're on PC, you set it to full range. If you're on TV, it's supposed to be limited. This is what they tell you. But most TVs can now do both, and I recommend setting it to full if your TV has that option. That way you can keep everything the same for all inputs. Then your PS5 will be set to full and your Xbox is PC RGB. But this is where the hardware issues come in. On PlayStation, the console always shows you 0 to 255, whether you're in limited or full. So you can't even adjust it properly if you are wanting to run limited. This is also why you have games like Bloodborne where the pattern is impossible to set. Xbox isn't any better. If you use their calibration tool, in PC RGB, that little closed eye just completely disappears. But if you set it to limited, to make it visible, you have to turn your brightness down to the extremes and you can't really do that because the games are, yet again, a mixed bag. So how do we fix this? Well, we have to use a different standard to make up for their bad standards. And the answer to that is 4 for black instead of 16 or 0. Now this is kind of complicated and it's where my craziness comes in. In a digital signal, level 4 is roughly 1.5% brightness. In photography, this is what Ansel Adams called Zone 2. It is the first point where pure black turns into visible texture. If you can calibrate your screen so that level 4 is your absolute visible cutoff, you can effectively use the brightness pattern in games even like Bloodborne. You can now make that image barely visible at its lowest setting. This sets your TV or monitor to a black level where real image detail starts in. Rather than just crushing it into nothing or just making it overblown and gray. Now for the second problem, gamma. I'm not going to bore you with the complicated math, but here's the warning. 90% of games get this wrong, so don't touch it. In reality, gamma is a complex power curve designed to match old CRTVs and it's used in photography. But game developers treat it just like a cheap brightness slider. They use it to lift blacks, which destroys the image depth, or you end up bringing it down so far that your colors become oversaturated and it looks terrible. So here's the basic rule. If you see a game with a gamma adjustment, leave it alone. It is almost guaranteed to ruin your picture. You cannot fix a broken gamma curve with a simple slider. Just rely on your screen's calibration. So here are the patterns that can help you do that. The bar labeled 4 is your target. This is your zone 2. Everything below that should be pure black, but 4 stays barely visible. I'm just going to let it sit here for a bit so y'all can use it. Or you can just pause the video here. For the white level, you should be able to see a value of 253. If you can't, or the bars turn pink or red, your contrast is too high. As far as the color temperature goes, normal or warm is usually the most accurate, but it's always different with every single TV. So for that, it's actually better to look up your make and model and see what it says. I hope this explains why developers keep doing this wrong and that they need to fix it, but who knows if they ever will. It's been going on since the PS3 era, so it seems unlikely. I'll put a link in the description that leads to my Discord if you want to download those images. Thanks for watching. Would you kindly leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later.